What's up, Fire Family? Happy Friday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collective reading. Sending you guys a lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. XO, XO. I hope you guys are doing great. Happy holidays. Let's see what's going on with the collective. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, we're going to pop straight into the reading. All right, let's see, universe, spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Uh-oh. Spirit, please guide me through this reading for the collective. What messages do you have for the collective? And the sun is coming in, so that's good. Something will be changing around you guys. All right. All right, let's see. Spirit, please give me messages for the collective. What do they need to know in here at this time? All right, let's see. We have the tower. Yes, yeah, so you guys can be having a tower moment right now. Just going through a lot. Frustrated, annoyed. This can be a breakup. Okay, let's see. It could be a Scorpio or you guys could be a Scorpio. Both of you guys are falling out the tower. So this can definitely be some type of argument. Or a lot of things are shifting and changing within your environment, your home. Your living situation could be changing. Two of Pentacles. This can have to do with finances. Okay? So some of you guys are juggling financially right now. Trying to keep things in order. Trying to keep things together. If this is a relationship, I do see a breakup here. Okay? Um, and it's due to the ups and downs between you and this person. So let's see. Any more messages for the collective? Any more messages for the collective? What is this about? We have the three of pentacles. Okay. So it looks like there may be a breakup for some of you guys, but for others of you, it's going to be a really big argument. And the truth is going to come out. We have justice here at the Lib Libra justice. The truth is going to come out, and I feel like something is going to hurt. Somebody's feelings. It's something that they don't want to hear. But I feel like it's something they need to hear. Okay? Because we have justice, we have the judgment in reverse, and we have the ten of swords. Okay? And I feel like somebody has just had enough. Okay? Not sure what this is enough of, but, like, you could just be very frustrated and annoyed, fed up, and you, you just had enough. And judgment in reverse is like, I, you know, like... You're not getting, you're not learning the, learning the lesson. I tried to tell you before, I tried to tell you this, I tried to tell you that. And maybe they didn't want to listen. Maybe you guys are dealing with somebody that's hard-headed. You can't tell them left from right. You know, stuff like that. You tell them to go left, they go right, you know. But it's also saying that once you guys get and learn the lesson, then something goes in your favor. Or once your person does. Okay, so somebody's having a hard time learning and understanding some type of lesson right now. Okay. And we have the Empress, so it may not be you. It may be your person. This person feels like you're going to move on and leave them. Whoever this is, that's what they feel like. They feel like you're going to leave them. Let's see. We have the Knight of Swords. So something changing quickly, something changing after an argument, or something changing after some truth coming out. Something, okay, yeah, definitely was an argument or. Somebody said something, some truth came out, or somebody just spoke their truth and how they felt about something. Hmm. But I don't know if this changes their mindset or... Sorry, y'all. I know I've been yawning in the readings lately, and I don't know why, because I'm not even tired. Maybe I am, and I just don't think I am. But... Something changes quick, fast, and in a hurry. And it brings in money and an opportunity. Or it changes the relationship to something more serious. But it's after some type of an argument. So. It 
it's kind of like it's gonna turn out better than you thought. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see where spirit is going with this. All right, let's clarify. Let me see something. Why is not a sword here? Somebody could be going towards a new job offer as well. You guys might be taking on a um some of you guys work from home, work remote or something like that. But you have another opportunity or something coming in. Or something to do with money. Something with your money is changing outside of love. Go into this knight of swords. Why is the knight of swords here? The sun, yes. See, that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, I remember I told you when the reading first started, I was like, oh, I was like, the sun is coming out. That's good, a positive change. Okay, so somebody could be stressing or worried financially. Somebody needs to own it. Like, somebody needs to step back into who they were. Um, we have a queen of wands, male or female. So it doesn't matter if you, it's you are your person. But somebody is a badass and somebody is really good at making shit happen. But somebody is frustrated with temperance in reverse and the strength card in reverse and they just feel very weak and overwhelmed right now in this situation so if it's it could be like you and your partner or somebody you guys are getting into it and it's due to like finances your relationship just personal things or stuff that you guys have going on and it's like making somebody want to break up or in the relationship but then i feel like somebody is confused and they don't really want to break up in the relationship and then we have the king of wands here so it's like with the king of queen of wands it's like yeah we're better than this like we're just going through some shit or like you're like why are you mad at me about this or for this reason or you know like i'm gonna get it together but i feel like for some reason you needed to say something or say what you had to say in order for this to change the situation because if not i don't feel like the situation would have changed i feel like this person was just very comfortable and it wouldn't allow the situation to change or nothing would have changed if you would have never said anything i don't know that's just what i'm getting all right, so go on to the Six of Pentacles in here. Because somebody was not giving fairly to the relationship. And it was like with the sun, somebody was trying to make the best of, the most of it, you know. Or look at the good in the situation. But somebody is just like, no, I'm not going I'm not gonna do this. So I am going to look into this tower and see what this argument is about. Or somebody that you guys are dealing with. Yeah, see, the tower in reverse. Somebody that you guys are dealing with always needs something. Needs money. Needs you for something. Needs you to do something. Could you do this? Could you do that? So it could be that. You guys could have just been with a needy ass person. You know, somebody that's very needy. And I said, like I said, this needed to be said. This needs to be said or needed to be said. We have justice again with the Six of Swords. And now you guys can move forward and go towards peace. Some of you guys are moving. Okay, or you're changing like homes or something like that. It's going to give you guys a new beginning and a fresh start. Okay. Um. Let's go into the tower. I don't like this deck feel a little stiff. Let's see. Go into the tower. Go into the tower. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you had to cut some motherfucker out. Because she has her hand out. She has a sword. She has her hand like... You heard what the fuck I said. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, I feel like you just had to go off. And every now and then, we got to do that to our partners. I'm sorry. I don't care what nobody says. Not saying that you, per oh, shit. Not saying that you purposely have to just go off on them. No. But, you know, sometimes, like, our partners need to check us. We need to check our partners. You know, because it may just be stuff that we deal with. And sometimes when we're in love, we want to just like, oh, I love them. I don't want to say nothing or I don't want to cause any problems or whatever. But I feel like it just, again, it needed to be said. And she has like her hand out like, I hope you heard me because I'm only going to say it one more time. Or I'm only going to say it once. You know, um, and there's skeletons here. So a situation or something is dead to you or whoever this is, if it's your person. And you're just like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm tired of it. Like. When is this shit going to change? Like, I can't, I'm not going to do this no more. Okay? So, I just feel like it needed to be said. 
And now that you said it, it's going to change the whole situation between you and this person. Okay, so I don't know what the fuck you told them, but it's going, they going to get their act together. They going to straighten up their act real quick. Why is the Queen of Swords here with this tower? Look, the Empress. And they're going to start treating you real good. So this is good though. But I also know that the Empress is here with the Queen of Swords. Why? Because it's like your foot is down and it's like all the way down and you're not lifting it up not even to tie your shoes like they will be doing that shit but it's not even just that it's just respect you know the queen of swords and the emperor it's a lot of respect okay so it's like you're like a lot of and i feel like this person does love and respect you it's just maybe there's just a lot going on but i'm getting respect here okay a lot of things are changing in the situation so um it's like you changed up the energy between you guys, all right, or in this relationship. Go into this Two of Pentacles. Go into this Two of Pentacles. The Star Reverse. Yeah, somebody was ready to give up on somebody. Could be an Aquarius. So you could have been ready to give up on this person, okay? Or right, this person's ready to give up on you, but I feel like you were ready to give up on them, all right? And I feel like they knew it, or they know it. Let me see. The Star Reverse. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, I feel like you've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and I feel like you've been thinking about letting this go, giving this person up, giving the situation or the relationship up, even though you have invested in it, and you guys could have, like, just been together long term. It's just like you're just done and you're tired, okay? Sorry again, y'all, just motherfucking tired. You see when I said tired, y'all, I must be tired, y'all. Just don't know it. I need to take a nap probably, y'all. I don't know. Maybe because I'm always on the go. I'm always doing something. I'm always busy. And I'm always like here, there. No, let me do that. I don't know. I just don't feel sleepy. But like right now, for some reason, I just, it started to hit me. So maybe I do need a nap. Go on to the seven of pentacles. Or maybe I'm down and free, y'all. Maybe y'all are sick and tired of being motherfucking sick and tired of being sick and tired. Shit. Of being tired, you know, <laughs> you know, they say when a woman's fed up, okay, ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. One to this seven of pentacles. One to seven of pentacles. Wow, the ten of pentacles. So the situation changes quick. Somebody is going to get like a really good job offer, though. Let's look into this job situation. Why is the ten of pentacles here? Somebody's been a really good job offer. As this job is going to be like another state over, a couple states over. Or if it's not, it's like a remote job. Because you guys know remote jobs, you can apply to a job in New York and live in California. It doesn't matter because you're remote. So you don't have to go in, you don't have to see them. But let me see. Let me see what this is about. Somebody's going to get a really good paying job. Fix that resume, boo. Fix it, fix it. Let me see. Let's see what this is about. Wow. A lot of people are going to be hitting you up. Page of Cuts, Five of Wands. You have a lot of offers coming in. Mm -hmm. It's going to help your financial situation. Maybe that's what you guys are blinded to and you didn't see that. Maybe the situation was that bad. Or maybe you did see it, but it's like now it's just like you're like, uh-uh, no. But outside of the job situation, I feel like that's what it was. Like somebody wants to give you more and really does love you with the Queen of Cups and wants to like give you more. Um, they want to show up in a different way or show up financially, do stuff for you, take you out, stuff like that, cater to you and all that type of stuff. And I feel like they haven't been able to do this lately. And this is this has been like really frustrating them. So somebody just is like, fuck, like they're over it. Go into this five of wands here. Go into the five of wands. Yeah, see the emperor reverse. This person doesn't feel like they're in control. Like not trying to control you, but they just like, they just like, fuck. Like, with, and that would make sense with the star reverse. So your person just kind of feels hopeless. They feel like things have just gotten out of their hands. Like. They just don't feel like themselves. The emperor, they feel like they can't offer or give you anything. They just, they feel overwhelmed. Miserable, sad. We have the four of cups. This person could be crying. Somebody really does fear losing you, but let me see what else we got. Going to the emperor reverse. Why is the emperor reverse? 
Could be an Aries. Could be an Aries. Let's see why is it in for me first. Some of you guys, um, Queen of Pentacles, see? Yep. They're like, if I don't get my finances, get my money, get myself together, babe is going to leave me. They, they feel in their heart that you're going to leave them. Yep. They just feel in, feel in your heart. I mean, in their heart that you're going to leave them. They're just like, damn, I'm about to lose this whole relationship and situation. So somebody is going to get their act right. Yep. See, justice, king of swords in universe. Two of pentacles in the universe. They're really trying to figure something out. The Ten of Wands is here. The Five of Pentacles. They're waiting for this shit to change. The World Card of Universe. Yeah, your person is going through some type of lesson. Some type of karmic situation or some type of lesson. Hmm. And it has to do with money, finances, and stuff like that. Victim. Playing victim, stuff like that. So, I just like the person you guys are dealing with. They're learning a lot of lessons here. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. They going through a major lesson right now. Why is the emperor here? Page of Pentacles. They have an opportunity coming in. Something small that can expand. But it's the Page of Pentacles. So that's some type of opportunity. But there's something they're doing wrong with the King of Swords reverse. So it's delaying their opportunity. If this has to do with the work, then maybe. Yeah, it's they need to take a different approach, do something different, or just come off as more determined, like confident, you know, but let's see, let's pull some love messages. Let's get some more love messages. This seems very general, which is fine, but let's see. Let's see. Uh-oh. Let's see. Love messages for the collective. What's going on with the collective? Give me some love messages for the collective. Walking away. Yep, leaving someone behind. Ending a love triangle tied up the emotional mess. So, yeah, remember I told you they fear that you're going to leave them and walk away. Mm-hmm. They really feel like you guys are going to leave them. See, six of swords. Somebody, some of you guys are moving out of town. Like to a new town, city, something like that. But even if you're not, it's like they feel like you're going to like just move on. And they feel like you'll be happier without without them. Mm -hmm. That's what they feel. They feel like you're better off without them. Maybe that's just the low vibrational part of them talking, you know. Because um, I feel like this person really doesn't want to lose you. But then I don't know if this person is dead. So there can be many reasons why you don't want to be with their ass, okay. But let's see. Messages for the collective and uh, let's see. We have clarity, getting a new perspective, mental clarity, getting rid of distractions. Then I tell you, there's something you're gonna say, collective, that's gonna get them together. Okay. It's gonna get their asses together. We have secret meetings, intimate encounters, more is brewing, a regular side piece. Mm, let's see what this is about. Eight of Cups. So they're not even dealing with that anymore. Okay. Now, if you guys feel or think that they're cheating on you, they're not. They're not cheating. They're just going through a lot. For some of you, if they were, they walked away from that situation. They're not. I don't see them dealing with anybody because I feel like where their mind is at and what they got going on, they don't have time for like a secret relationship, a side piece or anything. They can't even give to you and do for you. So it's just like they know having a side piece or a third party is like it's not going to work out for them. You know, we can clarify it and break it down, but I don't feel that. And I'm going to slowly go off my intuition. I don't I don't see that for you guys with this person. Okay. Um, but let's see. Messages for the collective and love. Let's see. We have workplace affair. Fooling around at work, having an affair with a coworker, uses work as an excuse. So let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody I feel like was having a work affair. Mm-hmm. Somebody was. Or somebody has like a... If it's not an affair, then somebody has like a work boo or something. But this person will be like in a commitment. So it's like say you and your person are together and whoever they're having this affair with, they're in a commitment as well. Okay. Um, you know what I also am getting? Somebody is dealing with their boss. So um, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, but I don't know. Somebody is dealing with their boss. Somebody was dealing with their boss thinking that it was going to change like their work schedule, their position, stuff like that. But if not, 
some of you guys are dealing with your boss, okay? Or your boss flirts with you and likes you and your person may think that you're having an affair with your boss, but if not, it's the other way around. Somebody also has like a really nice looking boss or really nice looking coworker and you guys can talk or text a lot and it makes your person jealous, okay? Or you guys can have a lot of male clients and they don't like that, but you're not doing anything with, with these clients. All right, let's get some more messages for love. Not sold on you. Not sure where it's heading. Needed more time before deciding. A lot of doubt and confusion. So, again, like I said, your person is in doubt and in confusion. They don't know what to think. They don't even know where they stand with you. Queen of Swords universe. Yeah, because you are like a second away from cutting this motherfucker off. Yes. Like, you let them know. That's why I said it needed to be said. And then look at the bottom. We have boundaries. Okay. So it says disrespecting boundaries, lack of healthy boundaries, lack of respect. And then I tell you, like, I saw that respect coming back or you guys having, or this person having respect or there's something changing by you saying something, speaking up. Because like sometimes, like I said, I, I do feel like sometimes we get in relationships and we're just way too comfortable. And then we'll let one thing slide or this side or, you know, we'll think about, oh, like they're going through a hard time, this, this, and that. And sometimes some things are just needed to be said. Sometimes shit has to be said. Okay, regardless of how that person feels, but if they love you and respect you, then they'll understand where you're coming from because like we're grown, two grown people should be able to talk without the other person getting upset, having mixed feelings, slamming the door, walking away, going off. Oh, you this and that. You guys should be able to talk. If you cannot talk to your partner without them stomping off, yelling, screaming, getting mad, angry, upset, then that is unhealthy. Okay, um, and that's definitely something I have learned and have worked on because I used to be like that sometimes. Somebody tried to tell me something, I'll get so mad, like, oh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But when you take the time to think about it, it in, mo in most cases, it's for your best and highest good, okay? So if you're telling your person, like, look, I love you, I fuck with you, but this needs to change, or I want you to do this, or you need to do this, then you're helping this person out. You're making it, you're telling them what you need, and they should be able to understand that, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, we have... The Inquisitor. So we have, you are their number one, dominating the situation. Your person is choosing you. So you are their number one. I feel like they're going to choose you. Yeah, you dominate the situation. You're in control. Okay. Um, you, lay, <laughs> you lay everything out on the table. All right. And I definitely see like something is going to turn around in this situation. It's just going to take some time, you know, um, but it's going to happen really quick because they see you're not playing. And then we have home. Moving in together, living with someone feels like home. Maybe you feel like home to them. You guys can be moving in together. I see some of you guys moving, relocating, you know, stuff like that, looking for a place. Um, are you guys are like going to um, move in with them and move in with you? However that works. Yeah, eight of swords in first. No longer feeling all tied up. So somebody is not going to feel so tied up anymore and stressed. And I feel like it's going to feel like home again. Or as you guys are just going to come together. Okay. I do feel like there was some. Some hiccups in the relationship. You guys are going through something. Let's look a little bit more into this. Uh, what was it? The third party thing. Let's see. Give me more information on this side piece slash third party energy. Give me more information on this third party slash side piece energy. Let's see. Mm, okay. Hey, baby. I'm working. I'll talk to you guys about school in one second. Let me see. Okay. Oh, okay. So, for some of you, there was somebody, but it wasn't, like, serious. Like, yes, your heart, I mean, yes, you mean everything to this person, okay? Um, I'm going to see how far it went, but... At one point in time, yeah, somebody that I work with. So, at times they felt like the third party or the side piece treated them better than you did. But I also feel like if they really sat down and thought about what you guys were going through and maybe why you felt the way you felt, then they would think differently. And that's why. But then it's like at the same time, they kind of felt bad for doing this and then it stopped. Or they stopped talking to them or dealing with them. I'm not really seeing sexual activity, though. I see this is more as like an emotional thing, you know? Um, hey, baby. I'll talk to you guys about school in a minute. Hope you guys had a good day. Um, let me see. 
So, yeah, like they moved on from it quickly. I feel like it was just like some type of emotional type thing. I'm working, baby. Can I go outside? Uh, can I finish my reading, please? Can I finish, please, first, baby? Okay. All right. I love you. Mommy will talk to you in a minute, okay? All right. Sorry, y'all. Let's see. So, y'all, the five of cups in reverse. I feel like, yeah, I, your person's not stupid. When they thought about it, they were like, I have too much to lose in this situation than to be with, like, a third party or a side piece or whatever. But I feel like this was more of, like, an emotional thing for them at the time. Or they felt some type of way, you know. And they did want to, but, nah, they were just like, mm -mm, let me not. They changed their mind real quick. And I feel like they didn't want to get all caught up in, in the situation either. Mm -mm. And they didn't want to hurt you guys. So, for whoever this is resonating with, they were about this close. They were this close. They were that close. They were that close, y'all. They brought me a dig out their pants and everything. They were that close. And they were like, nah, I got too much to lose. I love my girl. I love my man. I'm not going to do it. So, yay, I guess. You know, so, yeah. So, yeah, they felt like they had too much to lose. Let's put some overall energy and then I'm out because I got to work on some personals and I got to upload the air and water signs. I think starting next week, I'm probably not going to do the days anymore. Or let me know if y'all like the days. Y'all like when I do the days, like Monday is fire, Tuesday is earth, stuff like that. Because if not, I'm just going to start posting them again, like how, like, you know, whatever I feel guided to do that day, whether I do two, three, five signs or, you know, mix them all up. Um, but I also did tell you guys. You know, the views are good. I'm not going to waste my time on certain signs. But then I don't know. I guess I'll take that back because I don't know for sure. But sometimes I do put a, you know, not sometimes. All the time I put a lot of energy into the Zodiac Women. So, you know, of course, the people that are viewing more and showing love, y'all would definitely get y'all readings first or get more readings. All right. So let's see. Let's see what the overall energy is. What is the overall energy? I was about to say, what is the overall energy for Leo? <laughs> Maybe some of you guys are a Leo or didn't want a Leo. Let's see. What is the overall energy for the collective? We have a getaway. Vacation needed. So maybe you guys need to have a little getaway. Maybe you guys need a vacation together. You know, you need to like have a little getaway, get romantic, get real freaky, dress real nice, you know, put them inches in or, you know, put, you on, put on some makeup, look good, you know. And all of that, um, yes, like maybe that's what y'all need to do, you know, maybe before Christmas or maybe after, I don't know your financial situation, but we have discovery. So finding the truth, secrets coming out, hidden feelings revealed. So I feel like what the secrets are is that somebody felt some type of way. And with the tower, those feelings were ex um, exposed like because somebody was holding something in. And then we have the leaving card again. Okay, but we have breaking the cycle, say goodbye, moving on to better things. So I definitely feel like you told this person that, look, something has to change or I'm out the door, you know? So I don't, I, I don't see nothing wrong with that, y'all. Don't, mm -mm, don't suffer, don't settle. You know, I said all the, don't settle, don't suffer, don't give in to a situation where you're, you know, if it was the other way around, will they do it for you and stuff? You got to think about that. We have the cold shoulder here. So let's see. This kind of flew out, came out on me. We have feeling ignored or rejected, being suddenly alone, a little partner. So, yeah, I feel like maybe you guys need some time apart or maybe they feel ignored or rejected by you. But, again, that's on them. But, I mean, maybe this was just something that was going on in your relationship, you know? Shit, relationships go through stuff. Let's see. We have Rocky Road. Yeah, so you guys had to hit a rough patch or we're going through stuff, you know? Challenging times, facing obstacles. Must work to overcome. So, if you guys really want this, you got to work on it, all right? So, let's see. Journaling, creative release, keeping track of patterns, exploring your feelings. So, maybe some of you guys write out how you feel. You have your journal. You express yourself, okay, in some type of way. Or maybe this is all the things that were on your mind that you needed to let off and you needed to say it. And that's what happened. And that was your way of journaling, journaling it. Not saying like you actually, you know what I'm saying, like because it was on your mind and you spoke, spoke what was on your mind, you let it out. So, all right? 
But let's go into um I want to go into the Rocky Road and this journaling card for the collective. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna make things a lot better because look, see the Queen of Wands in reverse. You had a lot of pent up energy, frustration. You were mad. And I just feel like with the Queen of Wands in reverse, like Sometimes the Queen of Wands is not always the whole, the third party, the side piece, and all that. No, it could be somebody that's overwhelmed, somebody that puts too much energy into things, people, places, you know, like somebody that's burnt out over it, frustrated, annoyed, and you just really want to be happy in the situation. And maybe that's what you needed to get off your chest or, you know, just you needed to get it out. All right. And now it's like that is going to turn around and change. Let's see if things are going to change once you guys have this getaway or spend some time together. Okay. And I don't mean getaway like, oh, you cook dinner, they come to your house. No. We need like a getaway. It needs a getaway to me. Doesn't have to be nothing too major, but at least an hour away. At least two hours away. At least a nice little hotel, like in the next thing. Like, you know, that so for example, I'm in Katie. Austin is like two hours away from me. Okay. So if my fiance was like, let's get have a getaway. And we we're like, okay, we're gonna stay in the state. That to me will be a good a getaway. You know, Dallas is like four hours, so that's like a getaway. You know, San Antonio is like two and a half hours. That's like a getaway. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's still close and it's not far, but we're still getting away. Okay? So maybe y'all need to do something like that. Or you can take a vacation, like it says. Maybe you need to have a vacation and just get the fuck out the states or wherever you're at. All right, let's see. Getaway. Let's see how it's going to change. So, yeah, some of you guys need this new beginning. I mean, need this getaway. It's going to shift and change the energy between you guys. Yes, you need to. Okay? Because um, somebody is very defensive and guarded. And I feel like if you guys have this getaway, if you're going to let your guard down, be a lot more open, and you guys are going to be a lot more happier. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the High Priestess here. We have the King of Pentacles. I also feel like there's going to be a, a serious conversation had or needed, okay? But it's also like your partner is realizing how important this is for you or to you, okay? Um... Something can also happen on that getaway. Somebody wants to propose. This looks more like a promise ring, though. Or like a really nice piece of jewelry or a gift or something. But for some of you guys, it could be a proposal. Hmm. Yeah. I do see sex though. All right. So, yeah, there's going to be something that are going to give you a value that you weren't expecting. Okay. Somebody's going to come into some money, not a lot of money, a little bit of money to kind of help the situation or whatever money they come up with, they're going to do something for you or put it towards something. Okay. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn too. Are you a uh, Capricorn? Give me more information on this Capricorn. You guys can be fire. I mean, um, Capricorn and fire energy. More information on this Capricorn. Yeah, see the whoever this Capricorn is, they're trying to really make you happy. Blockages are about to be removed from this person's life. Somebody that was back and forth and, uh, and kind of like unstable has an opportunity coming in. That's going to change the situation. Okay. Somebody was also battling depress depression and it had to do with their finances and also losing you. So um, they're going to overcome this or that's what they're working on. Maybe they're going to get the lesson and get the whatever this is that they're going through. But this was before you, and now I feel like they're finally working through the energy, and now it's about to shift, and you guys are no longer going to be in this energy no more. So let's go into the justice really quick. Remember I told you guys from the beginning. All right, let's this here. It's a sword. Yep, they are getting it. Then. Yep, and real quick, a lot of things are about to change real fast. Yep, the Ten of Wands, they're at the ending of something. So, I'm not exactly sure what their lesson is, but they're at the ending of it. Okay, the Ten is an ending. 
it's done it's wrapping up and things are about to change quickly i just see a, i just see something changing and i don't believe that well things could change overnight but like when i mean quickly that's how fast i think this is going to change for a lot of you guys overnight in the next few days something like that is just going to change for both of you guys but in different ways if that makes sense okay so that is what i have for you my loves that is your reading if you're resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell and if you guys would love to book with me fireintuition.com or you guys can book on my online shop my tears have healed my heart.com all right i love you guys stay dope and i'll see you guys in the next collective reading all right, fire fam. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. It's Friday. Have a um, happy weekend, guys. All right. Bye, loves.